Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Amal Kumar Ram. In this video, we are going to consume the created micro front end based on web components using Angular elements. So let's first create a project. To create the project, we'll run the command ng new and the project name say consume web com. It will ask whether we want to add Angular routing in our project or not. We'll press yes and select the SCSS as a style sheet format. The command has been successfully run and the project has been created that is consume webcom. If we go to the package.json file, the project has been created on Angular 50. Now we'll copy the generated web component JS file from the remote application. This is remote application that is tick list and in the elements folder we have two files generated out of which we need to include this ES2015 JS file. So let's copy this and paste in our host application that is consume webcom. I have copied the file inside source assets and here we can see that the file has been copied and pasted that is take hyphen list hyphen web component hyphen es2015.js file. Now we'll open index.html file. Here we'll include this script file using script tag. In source attribute will give the path of this js file. So we'll go inside assets and then the js file. We'll also provide the attribute differ and write the closing tag for script. We'll save the file and run the server to see if this project Project that is consume web comp is running fine over the browser or not so let's start the server by running the command ng s hyphen o okay first we need to go inside the project folder that is consume web comp and run the server start command as we can see our host application that is consume web comp is running completely fine over 4200 port now we'll open app component.html file in the host application and remove all codes from here if we go to the remote application that is inside tech list application and open the app module.ts file then we will see that we are exposing this app component with a selector take hyphen list so let's use this take hyphen list tag inside the host application and see if app component.html file code gets run over the host application or not so this is our host application and here if i'll write take hyphen list and save the file then it will give error because this take hyphen list is not a known element to this project so let's save the file and it is giving the error that take hyphen list is not a known element so in web component we need to load the exposed component through javascript first let's create a div here we can give an id to this div such as load web com and save the file as the server is started successfully let's see over the browser we can see a blank page in host application now we'll open app.component.ts file and implement after view in it from angular core which require to add interface that is ng after viewing inside this method we'll delete everything and create a constant let's give a name as webcom and we'll write document dot create element and we'll Will give the same name as it is getting exposed from the remote application that is take hyphen list so we are creating this tag in the javascript file now we'll create a container variable of type any and inside this ng after view init method we will write this dot container equals to document dot get element by id and we'll provide the id as load wave com which we have given in the app dot component dot html file now inside this container we'll remove all the inner html and also we'll append a child which is nothing but the tag variable that is webcom now the server has been started let's see over the browser we can see that our remote application is rendering successfully over host application that is consume webcom so this is how we can render a micro front end based on web components in any application if you want to know how to communicate between micro front end using web components then do let me know in the comment section i'll create a playlist on that as well this is it for this video if it is helpful to you then please press the like button and share with your friends and colleagues now let's meet in the next video till that be happy take care signing off